Let's talk about the local races, though, because we want to give you a look at some of the really big races that you're going to vote on here in Central Texas. Travis County District Attorney is going to be on the ballot, and candidates say they have a lot of work ahead of them. Kate Whitehall is live in Austin to explain. Good morning, Kate. Good morning. Yeah, the candidates know it's going to be a tough job because of loss of money as well as jobs that all came after funding for the public integrity unit was vetoed by former Governor Rick Perry. Now, this all came about after DA Rosemary Lemberg was arrested and charged with drunk driving in 2013. She decided not to seek reelection. Instead, DA prosecutor Gary Cobb, former Travis County attorney and commissioner Margaret Moore, and attorney Rick Reed are all running on the Democratic ticket. Local attorney Maura Phelan is running on the Republican side. Now, we spoke with two candidates last week and all said their first priority is damage control after funding for the Public Integrity Unit was vetoed. That office should be the most professional, uh, most outstanding district attorney's office in the state of Texas, and uh, I, that would be my intention. But I personally have been involved in community, with community groups and trying to be responsive to their needs, trying to understand what they want to have done. And you can find information on each of the candidates running on our website at KXAN.com. Just look under the politics section and then go to Texas primary. We're live in North Austin, Kate White on KXAN News. All right, Kate, thank you. I want to take an in-depth look now at that vetoed funding. Governor Perry made the decision for a public integrity unit in 2014 after Lemberg's DUI. It lost $4 million, money which would have supported 35 jobs. After that veto, Travis County commissioners provided enough funding to keep 17 positions. For the 2016-2017 budget, the DA's office asked for nearly $1.4 million. The county, though, gave them 363000 Because of that, seven other jobs were lost, bringing it down to now 10 employees. Three of those 10 positions are at risk of being cut next year. Perry, for his part, was indicted for abuse of power after vetoing the money. But just last week, the state Supreme Court threw out those charges against him. In Williamson County, voters will also decide on the next district attorney. It is a race that has sparked a lot of controversy with the current DA, Janet Duty, running for re-election after serving several days in jail for violating a gag order in a murder case. Duty supporters, though, say she has a 98% conviction rate and indictments in four murder cases since she took office in 2013. Republican Sean Dick, though, is challenging her. He has his own private practice and previously worked as a prosecutor in Williamson County. He says he wants to restore trust after the gag order controversy.